Armstrong Flooring Files for Bankruptcy. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because Armstrong for, for Loring are filing for bankruptcy. Now, that's a name anyone in the construction sector should be familiar with. They're very big and they've got some really good products. We've specified them on many of our jobs. On our first really big job, Dornia and Cavill Ridge, the big mining industry areas, all the office buildings we put on those mines, we specified hundreds of square meters of their product. So I was shocked when someone mentioned in the comments that Armstrong Flooring are filing for bankruptcy, guys. We're not doing the outro yet. Armstrong Flooring files for bankruptcy in hopes of a sale. Let's jump over. If you're not familiar, we'll look at the type of products that they have. Let's have a look. Builders, Pro, Flooring. I mean, they've got rigid core vinyl tiles vinyl sheets lots of things let's go on the tiles i like that i like the vinyl tiles i've yeah i've specified i've used these products these are great the plank vinyl that you can lay on a concrete slab you've got to prepare it make sure it's all level i don't want those updates and it looks great i mean you get different colors guys and it's fantastic we actually used a, a, a competitor's product to armstrong but very similar in style for my mother's little uh, duplex. We tore, we tore out all the old crappy vinyl and we put this stuff in. We You have to lay it like planks and you can get it with a good thick base on it that it actually feels nice and comfortable when you're walking on it and it can really lift up the entire space and it's a lot easier to do than a, a, you know, a, a floating floor or something like that. And I mean, they've got lots, they've got other vinyl as well, guys. So they're a big manufacturer and they're a well-known brand. So this is really, well, <clears throat> it surprised me a little bit, but we'll see why, what's causing this. And it's, it's, it's a warning sign, guys. There's going to be more like this. Let's have a look at this article and we'll jump back and have a look at a few other things. So um, Armstrong Flooring Inc. filed for bankruptcy on Sunday in the hope of finding a buyer after months of negotiation with lenders over its future. The flooring company sought Chapter 11 protection in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the District of Delaware with $317.8 million in debt. The Lancaster, Pennsylvania-based public company partly blamed inflation and manufacturing shutdowns caused by the COVID-19 pandemic for its losses and strained financial position according to a written declaration from the CEO, Michael Ver, uh, Vermetti, on Monday. Now, if we jump back over here, I thought I wanted to have a look at at some of their announcements. This is from, well, January this year. Armstrong Flooring announces price increases. So Armstrong Flooring announces it will increase U.S. prices effective from March 1st to offset rising input costs. For select residential products, price increases will range from 0 to 10%, commercial 0 to 15%. And this isn't a fly-by-night company, guys. They're 150 years old. And these price increases were causing problems at the beginning of the year, and their debts have just been mounting up and up, and now they're going bankrupt. Boy, this, this ain't good. The company's lawyer at Skadden, Arps, Slate, McGee, and Flom will appear before U.S. bankruptcy judge Mary Walrath on Wednesday for approval of a $30 million loan from JMB Capital Partners Lending, LLC, to fund operations during the bankruptcy. Armstrong Flooring spent the last several months on the hunt for a buyer that received indi- uh, indications of interest from potential buyers, it ultimately wasn't able to pin down a firm offer, according to court papers. Meanwhile, the company was operating on financing from lenders that imposed hefty fines and expenses. At one point in April, the lenders threatened to immediately shut the company down, according to Vermitti. The company will continue business operations during the bankruptcy and sale process, he said in a statement. Would you spec them? 
Would you specify them now on a job, guys? I, I, I don't know if I would anymore. I don't know if I would now. And not while, while the bankruptcy proceedings are underway. And what happens if the company completely dissolves? What about the liability? What about the warranties? Will, they still, will there still be someone there to honor those? That's a question for you as builders and designers. <clears throat> and what's the Australian relationship to this? The pandemic hit the US at a particularly bad time for Armstrong Flooring which had recently spent significant resources to implement a plan to modernize its operations, he said in his declaration. Though the company's performance improved somewhat in 2021, inflation and supply chain issues kept its profits down, he said. Armstrong Armstrong Flooring, which spun off from Armstrong World Industries, Inc. in 2016, sells its products largely to wholesale distributors as well as specialty retailers. The products, which include vinyl composite tile, vinyl sheet, and luxury vinyl tile, are used in commercial and residential housing. The company has uh, flooring plants in Illinois, uh, Mississippi, Oklahoma, and Pennsylvania. The case is in regarding um, yep, the bankruptcy court. So there you, there you go, guys. Let's jump back over here have a look at a few other things so we we're aware of the the price increases and well this is the loan term so they're they're working to try and figure something out but they're in chapter 11 the company continues fulfilling orders and commitments to stakeholders providing the highest level of innovation quality and service but how long are they going to be there I guess whoever buys them will take on all of their liabilities all of their responsibilities and the warranty for their product not that much can go wrong with, with vinyl flooring, but you know, if, if it can, if you've got enough, if you've got a faulty batch, you want to make sure the company's going to be there. And what's the, the share price? I think it's gone. It's not doing too well at the moment. Uh, what was it, 17 cents or something? Stock data, here we go. Uh, yep. Charts. No, okay, has it, historic data, has it been tanked? Has it been tanked? Oh, it looks like it has. Here we go, got the 10K. I'll let you go through this one in your own. But let's, well, let's have a talk about this. A well-known company, 150-year legacy, going under, going bankrupt. Again, it's inflation, it's supply chain issues, it's, they may have survived the lockdowns and the pandemic, but it's the inflation that got them. And this is, there's going to be some time for this all to work through the system. People I've been talking to estimate another year. And that's not going to make it any easier to deliver projects if you've got your suppliers going under left, right, and center. What do you reckon, everyone? Thank you to the viewer who left a comment about this. Please let me know if you're aware of similar companies that are in trouble. It's definitely something to be aware of. I mean, tell me, guys, will you specify them? If you've got got a job now at the tender, would you issue an an addendum and replace the product? That's the question. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I find and put together here, there are a few ways you can help out. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. Use our referral links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband, or contact us if you need an architect. Take care, guys. This this one shocked me. You know, with with uh, Armstrong, I just looked at, at Dornier Drawings. I had to get some info off it. You know, we did that job at, over a decade ago. That's a shame. That's a shame. It's a good known company. Good brand.